SS modifiers in Java. What do we mean by SS modifiers and how many types of SS modifiers are there in Java? Now we might have come across several words or keywords such as public, private, protected and default. So these keywords we have come across while we are implementing several Java programs and they are actually called SS modifiers in Java. As the name suggests, SS modifier actually helped to restrict a scope or to declare a scope of a particular class, constructor, a method, or we can say that a variable also, and functions of course. So this particular restriction in the scope of a class, constructor, method, variable or function or data member is actually done with the help of SS modifier. As the name says, giving SS, providing SS to the modifiers. Now SS modifiers can be specified separately for a class, constructor, fields and methods. They are also referred as Java SS specifier, but the correct name is Java SS modifiers only. So now here are a few types of SS modifiers which I have already written that is public, private, protected and default. So these are the four SS modifiers or can we say that four keywords of SS modifiers that are provided by Java. So next we are going to learn about each in detail. So the first SS modifier is let's study about default first. So this default SS modifier when actually there is no SS modifier specified with any particular class, constructor or method, variable or function, then that particular member is set to have a default SS modifier because there is no any other SS modifier given so it is set as default. The data member class or methods which are not declared utilizing any entrance modifier will have default SS. That means you can declare that SS modifier for any particular class and field and you have to do not write any particular keyword if you have not mentioned any SS specifier. Let's say that you have just written like this class A then it is by default. It is a default SS modifier. It can be SS anywhere in a particular package. For example, let's take an example of the default SS modifier. We have a package naming P and class course is having a default SS modifier. Let's say that we have created a class name course. Okay. So now this particular class is having a default SS modifier because there is no other SS modifier or keyword mentioned. So it is default and it has a function void show. Okay, so this is a function or method it has and when this particular method is called then what it is going to display in the SOP system.outprintln it is going to display hello let's say. So this is actually an example of default SS modifier. How can we say that because there is no keyword mentioned and whenever this particular class and object is created or this particular function is called this particular display function then it will print simply hello world. So this is actually a default SS modifier. There is no other keyword mention of SS modifier. Hence it is a default SS modifier. So let us execute this very small program so that you can get a clear picture of default SS modifier. So here you can see that firstly I have initialized a class and I have not given any SS modifier here. So this is by default. And in that I have created a function named show and when this particular function is called, it will display that the default SS modifier in the system.outprintln statement. In the void main method, I have created an object of the test1 class with the help of new keyword, which we have studied in classes and objects module that we use the new keyword for the creation of an object of class. And then I have called the particular method or the function which I have declared in the test1 class void show. And when this method is called, it will display that default SS modifier. As I execute this particular program, it displays me in the console that default SS modifier. So this is basically a system.outprintln statement which is displaying it. But the main reason of executing is this program is there is no SS modifier mentioned here in this particular. There is nothing given that is private, protected or public. So this is by default. Next we have the private SS modifier. So in the private SS modifier, 
the methods or the data members are declared as private are only accessible within the class in which they have been declared for example any particular class is firstly mentioned as private class a let's say in the program we have made no ss specifier let us take that program only as example that we declared that particular class as private and the void show method which we declared is actually a private member so that particular member or the method that is declared in the class that is private and ss specifier are only accessible within the class in which they have been declared private signifies just visible inside the enclosing class that means the scope of this particular method or this method can be assessed within this particular class scope only if you create another class here let's say class b and then you try to assess the show method by creating an object it will give you an error that you cannot assess this particular method or this particular data member as it is a function or method of a private class so this is how private access modifier actually works if a class has a private constructor then you cannot create the object of the class from outside classes cannot be marked with the private access modifier we can say that classes cannot be marked we can make any particular method also let's say if you don't want to make this particular class as private then what could i do then i can just make this particular method as private also private void show then also this particular method won't be accessible now let's take an example of program and see how can we execute the private access modifier so for example we can say that uh, we have a class a and in that particular class we previously also created a method void show but now let us declare this particular method as private let us declare this method as private void show and in the sop statements you can write that whatever hello world or welcome to go edu hub etc and then we create another class that is class b simply and here in the public static void main method we have given and in that particular main method i am creating the object of the class a here so i am creating an a object using the new keyword of class a and then as i assess this particular object with the show function or the show method which i have created as private it will give me an error at the run time that you cannot execute this particular function or you cannot assess it because display or show is actually has private access in a class so it cannot be displayed so let us execute this program and see such kind of error actually generates while we execute the output of program or not now here you can see that i have not yet run the program but still it is showing me a few errors in the line as it is showing the method show from the type test1 is not visible why it is not vis visible or can be executed in this particular class test because it is private in the previous class it is private void show method as displaying so it cannot be assessed in any other class because that particular method is private and the scope limits to particularly class test1 only not in class test next we will discuss about public access modifier the third access modifier which we are going to discuss about is public so public as the name suggests that it can be assessed anywhere and the public access modifier is used with the help of using the keyword public it has a broad scope among all the other access modifiers classes methods or data members which are declared as public are accessible anywhere throughout the program that means in this particular access modifier there is no restrictions there is no restrictions and it has a large scope throughout the program as there is no restriction on the scope of the public data members so it also increases the functionality of the program and there are no restrictions also so it is very easy to use the public access modifier just before the class also or before any method we can use the keyword public let's say if i am declaring any class as public then i can say public class c1 or if i am declaring any method as public then i can say that public void show i'm declaring this method as public now if i assess this particular void show method in any other class let's say in class c2 and i make an object of this particular class and try to assess with that object that obj dot show 
then this program will definitely execute why because the ss modifier is public that means it is anywhere accessible throughout the program and has a broad scope among all the ss modifiers now let us execute a program so that you can get a clear picture about the public ss modifier so here you can see that in my java project p1 i have two packages p1 and p2 separately so firstly in p1 package i have a file hello.java and in that i have given public ss to the class hello and also to the void show function you can see here the public keywords i have mentioned and then i have written system.outprintln public scope next i am assessing that in any other package in the package p2 you can see here that there is a java file naming test1 now firstly i have imported the p1 package which is having my hello.java file so for that i have using the same syntax as we use for import of other packages that import p1.hello i have created a new class here test1 so they are basically in a same project these method but they are in the other packages that is p1 and p2 and then you can see class test1 and i have created the object of that previous class hello obg say new hello and then obg.show so this particular show function is actually called in the class test1 whereas it is actually been made in the hello.java file so let us see that this particular ss is accepted or not so here you can see as i execute this particular program it shows me that it is public scope that means you can assess the public modifiers or any methods or constructors or you can say functions which are having public because that means you can assess those particular member functions or the data members which are public as specified throughout the program in a particular java project which we have created you can assess those particular methods in separate projects also here you can see in a particular java project p1 i have a package named p1 in that i have stored the hello.java file and in p2 i am actually executing the test1 file creating the object of that class so this is the broad ss modifier as we say that public because this is everything about the public ss modifier you can execute it anywhere in the whole program of a particular package or even into different packages the last ss modifier which we are left with is protected so now let's just discuss about protected ss modifier So the protected access modifier is specified using the keyword protected itself. The data members or methods declared as protected are accessible within the same package or subclasses of different package. That means protected can be assessed in any particular package also or the subclass of other packages. Now how can we assess that in the subclass of other packages as protected members can be assessed only in the child or the derived class that means it can be assessed in the child class or in the derived class. So this is actually quite same with the private that the SS is limited but the advantage is that protected members can be assessed only in the child class or the derived class that means if anything is derived any particular data member is derived and if it is protected then it can be assessed as we discussed in our previous program also we have executed that void show function into different packages that is p1 and p2 but still it has been made easier why because we have used the public ss specifier and it is easy to use it has a broad scope of ss similarly for protected also it can be assessed but the condition is only in the child class or in the derived classes for more concepts and programs of Java, we will look into upcoming videos. 